What's up guys, this is Regina and this is gonna be my first beauty vlog ever. FYI, I do not have the best porcelain skin out there and I'm also not a skin expert, but I just wanted to show you guys what works for me and I hope that it can help you guys as well. But before we start, please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit that notification bell as well for you guys to stay updated with the latest videos that I'm going to post. I know what you guys are thinking. <gasps> what the hell is up with her bushy caveman eyebrow? Well, since it's quarantine season, I don't really like putting tweezers and doing tweezers on my eyebrows. I prefer having it done professionally. So I'm just gonna wait until the quarantine is over so that I can have it done first thing after. If you would want to guess my age, you would probably say that I'm 25, 24, I don't know, 26. But the truth is I'm actually 31. And it's not because of my genes. You know, I'm partly Asian. In Chinese, half Filipino, Spanish, so there's a lot of mix in there. Some of my friends actually have been asking me how I got clear skin, but just to let you know, it wasn't always like this. When I was in the university, I used to have a lot of acne. And since the point wherein I don't even go to school, um, I skip class. There are times where I don't feel like going to school because of my acne is all around my face. I, my self-esteem was very low. I I wanted to like avoid contact with people after school. So one of the reasons why I cleared up my acne was because before, one of my friends actually recommended a dermatologist that prescribed me a lower dosage of Accutane. It is like a soft gel. Um, I think it's about 10 milligrams of it, but it was way, way, way before and I took it for 14 days and that actually helped me dry up my acne from there. I worked on doing a water therapy as well by just using a regular cleanser like Cetaphil and after that, my skin just got better and better. Let's cut to the chase. Let's begin. Get ready with me. First step in cleansing, I use this. It's called SK2 Facial Treatment Cleanser. You guys can use um, a cleanser that depends on your skin type. For me, I have combination skin, so I usually pick a normal to combination skin or oily to combination skin because that really has an effect on your face. So I suggest that you get facial wash that is good for your skin type. I've become sensitive in checking out products that is good for the skin because it has a gradual effect on your face as you age. So I recommend that you guys check out this organization website called EWG. It's actually an organization where they review your products and what's inside of them and they can tell you if your product is harmful for your skin or not. So it usually has this called EWG verified stamp or you can pick one that's in within the rates of one to four I guess but me I'm very sensitive about that so I rely on that so much together with the facial wash I'm going to use it with this mini for you Luna it's actually a good natural exfoliator for your skin because your skin needs exfoliating at least once or twice a week to remove all of those dead skin cells that have formed the bacteria buildup in your face. So just put a little bit of that and then just press this one at the back. I don't know if you can hear that vibrating sound but just put it around your skin and exfoliate it like so. I really love this product because then you don't have to like roughly exfoliate your face. And your neck. Alright, so I'm done washing my face. Have it dry. And get your neck. And now I'm on to my favorite part. Usually it's toner, but I don't use toner since I don't think that's necessary for me. But if you guys are used to using 
skin toner, that should be fine. Just don't use the alcohol one because it tends to burn your skin in the long run, which is not good. I'm using the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. Now this one has Ptera. It's actually a yeast extract that is fermented in a controlled natural process, which gives your skin this tightness and this brings back the moisture to your skin. So it's really good. It tightens up your pores and gives you that youthful look. So I just like to use and pat it all over your face. And don't forget your neck because it's really important. I like to show you guys something that will help activate those essence and keep your skin more hydrated and moisturized and give you that moisturized glow and dewy skin. So I'm using Dear Claire's Midnight Blue Youth Activating Drop. It's a very powerful peptide that increases and encourages collagen production and it also accelerates the skin's renewal process so that your skin will improve its texture and um, elasticity. So it comes with this bottle. It is like a color blue kind of shade. So I'm gonna use it. Just a few drops on your skin. This actually helps your skin, and especially if you put it at night, it gives you this youthful glow the next morning. So I want to talk about this serum called Dear Claire's. It is packed with pure vitamin C and Centella Asiatica extracts. This actually mildly improves your skin tone and texture without the harsh irritation that it gives. What I like about this product is that they just put in a fair amount of vitamin C so that you can still feel the heat but it doesn't really harm your skin. What it does is make your skin glow and white and it improves the skin texture and tone. So when you wake up in the morning, your skin looks so fresh and just, it's glowing. I just love it. You have to try this one. A fair amount, a few drops. Initially, you will feel a certain heat. There's this feeling of, like it's, it's, it's a bit hot on your skin, but it's not harmful at all. Don't panic. It's the normal, it needs a, a vitamin C, it's working, it's there. And lastly for the eyes, I'm going to use Biosan's Colleen Peptide Eye Gel. So this is actually a good buy for me because it's EWG certified. Just one pop should be good. Mini pop. cream and the cereal, we are going to use a rose quartz or a jade roller. Not only closes your pores, but also lifts up your skin and prevents it from sagging. It's best if you guys put this in the freezer overnight and then use it after you put on your eye cream and your cereal. So just going to show you a little bit. And if you have redness on your skin as well, you can also minimize the redness. Don't forget your neck. And you use a smaller one for your under eyes as well. Now for the last step, we are going to apply a sunscreen on our face. So I'm using Dear Claire Soft Air UV Essence. It's an everyday sun protector. It has a soft, weightless, invisible daily sunscreen that guards against both UVA and UVB without leaving some greasiness and white finish on your skin. What you're looking for in a sunscreen is that it should have at least 30 or more SPF. The more PA++++ there is, the better the sunscreen for your skin. It's also vegan friendly. So now I'm gonna apply it to my skin. See? No white finish whatsoever. 
So I apply it every day, even while you're indoors, you should apply sunscreen as well. If you guys wanted to know all the products that I used in this video, just click the description link down below for more information, and you can also do your own research as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did and it gave you so much information as well. Don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below what you think and what you want to know more. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao!